This is for all the lonely people. Hello everyone and welcome to Movie Reviews by Josh. My name is Josh Terry, your source, your number one source, your most trusted source, your most trustworthy source for daily insights on the new and sometimes good and sometimes not good movies that are showing at the theaters. I'm actually kind of excited to talk about this one today. This is one of the more interesting movies I've come across in the last little while. This is a movie called The Wedding Plan. It's actually an Israeli movie. It's set in Jerusalem. It's about a young woman who is not quite as young anymore as she used to be. She's actually kind of late 20s, early 30s, I'm getting the feeling. She's been dating for about 10 years is what they say. And she's fed up with being single and she wants to get married. And that really is not a unique thing at all. It's part of what makes the movie relatable. What makes it interesting though is her approach to it and the film's approach to her predicament. What she does, uh, she's gone to a matchmaker. She's actually been set up with a guy named uh, Gidi and he actually winds up calling things off. And so she's just despondent and she decides that, okay, well, screw it. I'm going to go down to the local wedding hall, reception hall, and I'm gonna book a date. It's the eighth night of Hanukkah that she chooses. And she says, I'm going to go ahead and, and book a date and I'm going to put faith in God that he is going to deliver me a husband. Now this sounds, just from that description, this sounds like the perfect setup for a romantic comedy. And this movie is just about that far away from being it because she just kind of jumps head first and she goes on all these dates and she's all these setups. And they're all kind of these, these quirky individuals that all have kind of like their individual little little things. But rather than a typical romantic comedy, this is actually kind of a serious heartfelt drama and they play it straight and they play it very sincerely. And there are some moments that are very, very moving as this young woman is describing and confessing and, and talking about the things she's dealing with. Now, with that being said, this is not a wallowing in self-pity movie. It, it, it doesn't become too much. It's actually done in a very, very effective way and just a really kind of an interesting little movie. The thing that happens though is because they decide to play it straight and so candid and so sincere, they kind of put themselves in a position where, okay, how are we gonna actually finish this? Because this is if, if this is being played as if it's real life, then we can't just put like a typical Hollywood ending on this. And, and what they do, I think is not great. It's not bad. It's one of these things that's gonna be kind of divisive for people, I mean, not politically divisive, but I mean, people will kind of think, oh yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that, or other people will think, eh, I don't know. But to me, the whole package just seems very interesting and very worthwhile. I wound up giving this one three stars out of four. Um, like I said, the, the ending I think is, is a little bit questionable, but it still makes for a very watchable movie, very interesting movie, especially for anybody who's ever, you know, not had love fall in their laps at 18 and just kind of gone off into the sunset. Um, it's rated PG, if I'm remembering correctly, and there's almost nothing of, of any offense in here. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty tame movie. Um, but yeah, I thought it was a, one of the more notable ones, a little bit more under the radar right now. So what is your favorite romantic comedy? Go ahead and put your answers in the comments below. And if you see this one, tell me what you think about it. I'm interested to see what people think about this movie. So thanks again. This has been Movie Reviews by Josh. My name is Josh Terry. Love to have you subscribe on your way out and keep notifications on so you can see our new videos as soon as they're posted. Thanks to our friends at Rocket Gator for their continued support and sponsorship and their fine waterproof backpacks and their adventurous spirit and their socks. See you next time.